not the camera I would turn to today. Maybe back in the day when I was doing mainly concerts, live performances, sports photography, and when I was trying to capture fast moving subjects. It would have been a great companion for me back then, but I had the opportunity to have it in my hands for a couple days, a couple weeks to test it. So let's forget for a moment that I am a Fuji GFX user and let's take this X-H2S on a couple sessions and let's use only the X-H2S. Like my previous videos, I'm not gonna talk much because I'm still a little bit sick. So let's get the boring stuff out of the way. It can shoot stills at up to 40 FPS, 15 FPS with mechanical shutter, and capture full sensor 6.2K videos or 4K at up to 120 frames per second. Like always, these are the specs that matter to me. I will talk about the video capabilities of this camera, but just a tiny bit later because I want to make a dedicated separate video on the subject when I will have a little bit more experience with it. Now the biggest improvement in this X-H2S is the, is the autofocus. Autofocus, subject recognition and subject tracking. It is fast, it is accurate, the autofocus is really impressive in the X-H2S compared to the other cameras of the lineup. I ended up rejecting less images. It took me some time to get used to the form factor, the size of the camera. I'm used to the GFX100S and I have big hands, so when I had it in my hands, the X-H2S felt like a little toy. This is great for street photography and travel photography as it takes less space in the bag and allows you to be discreet. Did I get used to the look and feel of the images I got from this camera? Did you even see the difference in my feed on IG? I know Instagram ruins our images and the resolution there is crap, so it will be difficult for you to see any difference there. So here are a few images taken from different sessions made in different environments.
took me a bit of time to get used to the button placements, especially when reviewing the images, the main buttons are on the left side instead of being on the right side of the camera body. The grip feels good and the menus, I mean, I'm a GFX, I'm a Fujifilm user, so I felt at home. Otherwise, it felt great to retouch smaller files with less resolution. 100 megapixels can be too much at times. The testimonial video I made for Fujifilm last summer was almost entirely shot with the X-H2S. This time in 4K and ProRes, this allowed us to work fast. We knew the footage wouldn't require a heavy lifting. I also shot a dance video filmed in 6K open gate not so long ago and it will be published on my second channel shortly. I worked solo with the X-H2S in 6K ProRes HQ recorded internally. You can of course record ProRes RAW 12-bit with an external recorder like the Ninja 5 but I prefer using most of the time the ProRes codec internally as it is easy to edit on my three years old computer. You know that I was impressed by the performance of the Canon R3 in both photography and video, especially as a sports photography camera. Now, I wouldn't compare it directly to the X-H2S, but I wouldn't put it too far. Yes, the autofocus is not as good, and it is still an APS-C sensor, and it doesn't record any raw video internally but still it would make me think twice especially when you think at the price like i said earlier in my video if i was still doing the work i did early on then maybe i would have looked seriously at this camera now 
I'm an ex-Canon shooter. I started with the T2i, the 550D, then went on buying the 5D Mark III, Mark IV, EOS R and R5. I switched to full frame because everybody was saying that you must switch to full frame if you want to be a professional photographer. Now that I'm older, wiser, sensor size matters less for me. As long as I can create the images that I want, as long as my client is happy, and if I can save a few bucks in the process, then I'm good. Now it's your turn to tell us, do you shoot full frame? APS-C or medium format? Tell us in the comments below and most importantly tell us why. I guess that is it for this video. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. Until then, a police. Have a good one.